Now, international policies and guidelines often highlight the divide between nature and heritage in the landscape management and the weakness of the monodisciplinary approaches. Experts now argue that historic agricultural practices have played a key role in shaping today's landscapes, impacting historic landscape change to lead to soil erosion, degradation and frequent landslides. A similar such situation occurred in Ecuador's Andean region where a landslide triggered by heavy rains killed at least seven people with 23 people hurt and almost 50 missing. Y por lo tanto estamos bien sufridos, bien adoloridos, que no tenemos que hacer, se quedamos sin casa, sin nada. Estamos bien destrozados, no sé ni qué hacer. Yo cuando me iba a mis juegos de los gallos, yo llegaba a dormir en esta casa y no tengo dónde llegar ni hacer nada. But how is climate change impacting landslides? Over the past 50 years, disasters caused by landslides have become 10 times more frequent and landslide risk is set to escalate owing to two increasing trends, climate change and urbanization. More than 80% of fatal landslides occur in the tropics. They are triggered mainly by heavy rain, often during cyclones and monsoons. Climate projections show that on average, the intensities of tropical deluges could double by the end of the century. But it is hard to say what will happen in any given place. The rapid pace of urbanization, especially in low and lower middle income nations in tropical regions, is now putting more people in the path of landslides. Experts say that informal housing practices such as unregulated deforesting, slope cutting and household water drainage are increasing the chance of landslides because of which current landslide risk assessments are, fail, are falling short in a fast changing environment. While rescue workers searched for survivors in the rubble aided by dogs in Ecuador, experts and studies now suggest process-based models that can help disaster risk reduction consultants, city planners, engineers and those involved in community development to identify low regrets, cost-effective solutions that holistically address interacting risk drivers under model scenarios. They also add that landslide risks will be lowered only if everyone collaborates to understand and address the social, physical, political and economic drivers together.